Hey everyone, Jared here, and we are now at the advanced drumming warm-up. Now, this tempo is 120 beats per minute. It includes the same exercises as the beginner or intermediate warm-ups. If you haven't gone through those, go ahead and click the links below. But this is definitely going to challenge you a lot more, especially as we get to the last two exercises. Now, it's a five-minute warm-up. We're going to do each exercise for around a minute each. And we're going to do that together. So it requires that you have a practice pad and a pair of sticks with you and you play along with me. I love the thought of uh, thousands of drummers around the world actually playing along with me, practicing, using the videos. That's the whole point of doing these videos is that they actually get used. Otherwise, I wouldn't do them at all. It'd be absolutely pointless. And so I really need you guys to get your sticks, get your practice pad, or commit to like doing it on your legs and playing along with me. All right, so let's get started. Uh, for five minutes, we're going to do this at 120, and the first exercise is just a basic single stroke roll. So, let me just turn this on, and here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's just a medium full stroke roll. Now, like I said in the uh, previous video, got the idea to do this because my wife was doing workout videos, like yoga and stuff. And I'm like, hey, this is kind of cool to do in drumming uh, without like, I can't do a good British accent like they were doing the yoga videos, but uh, you know, just kind of like actually practice along with drummers and hopefully you could use it to get better. Use it before a gig, you know, just get your hands warmed up, give you a good sense of time. Or just like if you're getting ready to, you know, go through a big practice routine, a bunch of stuff, and this is a great thing just to get your hands warmed up. Okay, so we're gonna change to doubles. One, two, three, four. Now the the question is gonna be bounce. Do I bounce or are you using wrists? And I'm using wrists. Okay. Now I'm definitely accepting the rebound of each stroke. So I'm not pushing the sticks down and pulling them up. Okay, the sticks are coming up on their own and my hands are simply following the sticks up. So you get this nice clean sounding roll. And I'd recommend doing this on uh, surfaces that don't have a lot of rebound. I know I used to practice a lot on a pillow. Just fo still focus on keeping a loose grip, okay? It's very important. A lot of people, when they practice on surfaces that don't have rebound, they will naturally tighten the grip because the main stroke is coming from the wrist. Okay, get ready to switch here. We're going to switch to a single paradiddle. One, two, three, four. Now, I will say, I might get quiet <laughs> for the next two exercises because they are a lot more challenging to play. The next one is a Swiss triplet, and it's played as 16th notes, and because a Swiss triplet is a three note rudiment, it, it, is, um, it turns around funny at the end of that exercise. And so it's a challenge to get it to turn around properly because you've got two uh, left hand flams right in a row. And then the final exercise is a flam accent, again, three note rudiment, played as 16th notes, and so you have kind of a weird pot of fla fla turnaround where you do a, um, a left hand flam and then a right hand flam right away back into the exercise. <clears throat> but very cool, especially at this tempo. Okay, we're gonna get ready to switch. One, two, here we go, three, four,
Okay, get ready to switch. One, two, three, four, Okay, we'll end it. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> so that was really challenging. It was, it was challenging for me. It definitely pushed me, um, especially trying to talk over it and think about other things um, with the turnaround there and applying the rudiments in that way is always a challenge. And so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this series. If you did go through the beginner intermediate warm ups, and I hope this is something you can use before your gigs or your practice sessions or whatever. You can just come back to these videos whenever you want and just be challenged. And uh, I think that's the beauty of doing these types of things is that you guys actually get to put this stuff to use. So if you like the video, please share. Uh, please spread them around because that's, that's uh, the best thing you can do to help us do more of these. And so the more I can do with these, the better. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon.